Hello dear students, you all are welcome to the class of cost info manage usual decisions. Already we have started the topic of differential cost analysis. We have problems in the applications of differential cost analysis. In the problem, uh, let us check the question first. A sports specialist limited are famous for specialized manufacture of quality chess board. Quality chess board sets. At present, it is working below its normal capacity of 1000 units per month. In the level per unit per month, either unit will be the capacity of the company. The company sells chessboard sets in the national market at rupees 150 per unit. Now, we have to the domestic market. The April 2008, 600 units were sold, and which is the regular sales volume. Our capacity thousand unit on that part of it, but normally we will pay the price of it six hundred unit on. Okay, then the unit cost of production is. One unit on that. No, ten thousand rupees per unit. One unit on that. We have to pay the cost on that. That is direct material sixty, direct lab thirty, factory overhead thirty, and selling and administration overhead fifteen. These are the different components of cost. Cost per unit. Okay, then the company has received an export order on 20th April 2008 for supply of 600 units to be dispatched by 30th June 2008. We have to order the order. 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 We have to order the अब monthly 400 unit in the uh, capacity ideal capacity नम्बर का ये लो उन्नत नमक नानोरी unit उड़े बने वांगी कम monthly उल्ल पाज़ भी कम पड़ते उड़े कितने के ना order 20th April 2008 ना आना and it should be dispatched by 30th June 2008 अब April का ना May June रेंट मास ना मुकुल रेंट मास ना कुल 600 unit तो मात्रे उल्ल पाज़ भी करना तो नहीं रेंट मास ना कुल but normally, we have a normal capacity of per month 1000 units. For two months, it is 2000 units. We have a company that we have to pick up. Already, we have a national market per month 600 units. We have an existing order. We have a lot of money. We have an export order for 1800 units. We have to accept the order for 1800 units. The, while checking the capacity. Okay, let us check other matters too. However, the order stipul stipulates the price per unit of rupees 100 only. Yeah, that is the question. If the condition is the condition, selling price per unit, we have to get the export order and the selling price is $100. We have already marked the product with 150 rupees now. Total expenses okay. If you are accepting this order, we should be ready to sell it at rupees 100. Okay. The cost analysis indicated that the cost of direct material and direct land. हमारे ऑर्डर से ये रिचा आलू, नमक के नेले वेल उल्ला डायरेक्ट मटेरियल एंड डायरेक्ट लेबर कॉस्ट नो पर आना था, इट वुड बी द सेम अमाउंट पर यूनिट एस द रेगुलर वन वन ऑफ प्रोडक्शन, नेले वेल नमक के तरे आनो अदर कॉस्ट इनकर जेन ना था, पर यूनिट डायरेक्ट लेबर अदर वेल पर यूनिट डायरेक्ट Okay. However, an amount of rupees 2000 will have to be incurred on special packing and labeling, etc. We know it is an export order, so a special package uh, packing will be required. So an extra cost of rupees 1000 will be incurred if you are accepting this order. Okay. Then no additional factory selling or administrative overhead cost would be incurred. We already in the per unit administrative expenses per unit selling and factory overhead and selling per unit 45 rupees on the opinion of cost in our issue in the case in the export order in the other issue in the 
നമ്മുടെ നാട്ടിലുള്ള സെല്ലിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ എക്സ്പെൻസിന്റെ എക്സ്പെൻസ് ഇല്ല ആ ഈ ഒരു പ്രൊഡക്റ്റിന് ഈ സിക്സ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് യൂണിറ്റ് അതാണ് ഇവിടെ പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നത് നോ അഡീഷണൽ ഫാക്ടറി സെല്ലിംഗ് ഓർ അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേറ്റീവ് ഓവർ ഹെഡ് കോസ്റ്റ് വുഡ് ബി ഇൻകേർഡ് ഓക്കെ ദെൻ യൂസിംഗ് ഡിഫറൻഷ്യൽ കോസ്റ്റ് അനാലിസിസ് മെത്തേഡ് പ്രിപ്പയർ ദ ഇൻകം സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഫോർ മെയ് ആൻഡ് ജൂൺ നമുക്ക് ഓർഡർ കിട്ടുന്നത് ഏപ്രിലാണ് അപ്പൊ ഇനി മെയ് ജൂൺ അതിന്റെ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ് ഞങ്ങൾ പ്രിപ്പയർ ചെയ്യണം to show whether the acceptance of the order would be profitable to the company namaki order accept cheyano vendi ennallathu support cheyano to take the managerial decision whether to accept this order or not so it is better to prepare an income statement under the method of differential cost analysis and check whether there is an increase or decrease in the revenue or differential cost by checking all these things we can take a decision whether to accept or not okay then namaku answer like go let us move to the answer yes this is the existing situation existing position without export order rendu maasathekana may adey pole june rendu maasathekulla report aanu njangal ipo statement aanu njangal ipo prepare cheynathu two month lekulla two month lekku units produced so per month unit 1600 unit aanu 600 into 2 so it is 1200 local market le national market le the selling price it is uh, rupees 150 per unit so the total sales will be 1200 into 150 1 lakh 80000 this is the total sales in the national market if we are not accepted the offer yan offer onnu swigarichittilla engil export order swigarichittilla engil namukku april may june rendu maasathe sales aanu 1 lakh 80000 then namada cost ennu varana direct material rupees 60 per unit so 1200 into rupees 60 72000 then direct labor rupees 30 per unit so 1200 into 30 36000 then factory overhead rupees 30 per unit so 1200 into 30 36000 then special packing the if there is no export order there will be no special packing cost nalla export order swigirikkunnadengu mathrame cost undavullu if you are not accepting it there will be no such cost so it is nil then selling and administration overhead expenses rupees 15 per unit so 1200 into 15 18000 so total cost it is 162000 and profit it would be 18000 nalla order swigirikkunnilla engil nammude cost aanu and let us check what will happens for the export order then our order is irikkaning the additional cost or additional what will be incurred let us check the unit required for the two months rendu maasam kondu njangal 600 unit aanu namakkulla order endu parayanu the selling price it is rupees 100 per unit selling price 100 rupees aitana vaangikar ready ullu avaru adu kararil allengil document il parannittund the selling price it is stipulated as rupees 100 instead of 150 in the national market so the total sales would be 60000 or additional sales 60000 rupees the sales namakku undavu e 1 lakh 80 ku porame then direct material question like kritheya parannittunde there would be no change in the per unit cost of direct material and direct labor for the export order അപ്പൊ നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞ അതേ റേറ്റ് ആണ് ഡയറക്ട് മെറ്റീരിയൽ സിക്സ്റ്റി പെർ യൂണിറ്റ് ആണ് സോ സിക്സ്റ്റി ഇൻറ്റു സിക്സ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് തേർട്ടി സിക്സ് തൗസൻഡ് അതുപോലെ തേർട്ടി തേർട്ടി ഇൻറ്റു സിക്സ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് എയ്റ്റീൻ തൗസൻഡ് ഓക്കെ ദെൻ ഫാക്ടറി ഓവർ ഹെഡ് പക്ഷെ കൃത്യമായിട്ട് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ദുഡ് ബി നോ ഫാക്ടറി ഓവർ ഹെഡ് ഫോർ ദ എക്സ്പോർട്ട് ഓർഡർ അഡീഷണൽ ആയിട്ട് അത് ഇൻകർ ചെയ്യുന്നില്ല എന്ന് പറയുന്നുണ്ട് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് മെയിൻ ദെൻ സ്പെഷ്യൽ പാക്കിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ലേബലിംഗ് എക്സ്പെൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് റുപ്പീസ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് export order ne special packing and avashyam und and there will be a cost of rupees 2000 for that special packing then selling and administration overhead it is it also nil because it is given like that one the, there will be no requirement of such an additional selling administration and factory overhead so the total cost 36 plus 18 plus 2 56000 our sales rupees it is 4000 so there is an additional profit so the profit of rupees 4000 will be incurred 
So if we are accepting this export order, we will get a profit of rupees 4000. So let us take uh, what will happen in total. The level of position of the export order would add a the total production for the month of May and June will become 1800 and the sales will become 180 plus 60, 240,000 and the direct material 72 plus 36, 180,000 direct labor 36 plus 18, 54,000 then factory overhead 36,000 on the quality level second case lift factory overhead went up so total 36,000 itself special packing 2000 total then selling and administration overhead 18,000 so the total cost it would be 218,000 then take the difference it is 22,000 that is 18,000 of quality illa profit then 4000 additional profit so as there is an increase in the profit we could say that uh, the offer can be accepted or it should be accepted since the export order generates an additional profit of rupees 4000 the same should be accepted because uh, it will provide an additional profit of rupees 4000 to the company okay thank you thank you all